Hey, what's up everybody? Steve Looney back for episode number 21 of my new Adobe Illustrator CC 2015 series. And in this episode, I'm going to be going over something that is kind of a trick that I learned along the way. And it's about flattening transparency when it comes to files that you open PDFs in general that you do not have the fonts for. So basically, if you ever have downloaded a PDF, um, you know, say you have designed something on one station and then you bring it to another station in a different location and you don't have the actual fonts or somebody sends you a PDF and they say, can you work with this? Well, what's going to happen is a lot of times you're going to take the PDF and you're going to pull it into Adobe Illustrator. All right. And you're going to notice something comes up on the screen. You're going to notice missing fonts. Now, this is a quick t-shirt, uh, typeset that I did for a client of mine and you're going to notice that the word and is the only word that I have a font issue with but you've probably gotten files before where every font is missing and you're like oh my god what am I going to do if you hit close and you can't find the fonts you don't have them then you're going to have to change these fonts to something that you have so or you're going to have to obviously find the other font but sometimes you know people use some of the weirdest fonts so Anyway, the way to fix this, all right, this is a workaround, but it actually does work, is we're going to jump out of here, and we're going to come up to File New, or Command N, and we're going to make a document, the document size um, that the actual finished PDF was. In this case, it was 11 inches by 11 inches, which was a full back of a t-shirt. We're now going to hit OK. I'm now going to hit F, all right, so I can come to my desktop and find this file and I'm going to literally grab it and I'm going to drag it onto my canvas because again if you drag it into the program itself it's going to ask you for the fonts but the fact that I dragged onto an already made canvas we're going to be able to do what I want to do now as you can see you can see the letter a n d in that different font and you know and and that's great but if you notice when I click on this, there's a big X through the middle. That means it's a flat file. It's a kind of reading it as a photo right now. So what you want to do very simply is you want to come up to object, flat and transparency. And in flat and transparency, you can mess around with a lot of the settings. Right now, I'm just going to use a custom setting. All right. And actually, let's see. Normally, it's on medium or, or high. So what's going to happen is you want to make sure you convert all your strokes to outlines and convert all your text to outlines and you're now going to hit OK and now that picture that X through the middle has disappeared now what you're going to notice is if you hit A on your keyboard right the direct selection you're going to hover over and now you have everything yes it is going to outline it but now you're going to be able to work with the actual PDF without having tremendous amount of of actual changes so this works a lot of times even with images but what's gonna happen is if you have something that you know they save the PDF without bleeds you're gonna have to actually add the bleeds it's kind of a pain in the butt here you're gonna have to you know because um, there's all types of masks in here and uh, if you hit the regular selection hour V on your keyboard you're gonna see that everything is now in one group you're gonna hit right click and hit ungroup and you're gonna keep releasing clipping masks so you can get to the point where you can actually start to mess around with this so I hope you all like today's tip because it's something that a lot of people don't know. I learned this years back and it like it's it's helped me out so much since. So let me know in the comments below how much you love the series so far, what you'd like to see in an upcoming video, and I will see you for my next episode in my Adobe Illustrator CC 2015 series. Have a great day everybody. Peace.